In today's video, we have another five most ridiculous HackerOne reports, and today we will feature for the first time hacker who got banned from hacking on HackerOne because they were cussing and swearing at the program staff. And the last report was also so bad that I lost my mind, so this video is going to be crazy. And if you want to learn hacking to be actually good at hacking, then check out my course. Link is in the description. So here we go, as promised, we have five different reports and let's start stripping them apart. The first one says xss at pages.et.yuba.com. And it goes like this. This is the vulnerable domain and this is the vulnerable link. And this is the link with payloads and he obviously does the unmouse over and does prompts and whatever. I'm, I'm assuming this was all essentially scan results because, you know, or it might have not been, but I don't remember anybody using, like for, for me, I use alert, who uses prompt, but I could be wrong. It's just my opinion. And of course, uh, the, the hacker one, or like basically since this is self-managed program, it's not managed by hacker one says, we appreciate your efforts to help to keep Uber secure. I'm afraid that this doesn't qualify for the program as domain. Anything under the ET subdomain uber.com is out of scope for this program. And you can find a list of in scope properties on our program page. So this is the thing you have to read scope because this affects your reputation when it's closed as not applicable. And of course he says, respect it. And obviously got closed is not applicable since this is an out of scope. And oh my days, look at this comment. He says, you beep, 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 beep. I know this is this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Wow. Mark did his informant and closed the report, but I still don't argue about it and just accept it. Beep. <laughs> I respectfully ask you to disclose my report, you <laughs> moron beep. <laughs> <laughs> me <laughs> oh my god oh my days taxi driver he calls a tax what in what a great start to the video and obviously he says first off i want to apologize for not writing a longer response when i updated your state that's my fault however as acknowledged yourself this is not in scope for our hacker one obviously and he says for him, consider this your only warning that any similar behavior or violation of the hacker one slash Uber will result in ban in our program. And let's go read some more. First, I'm not going to apologize for my behavior because in this scenario, I'm right. Oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Second, the problem here is that the report was already closed and marked as informative. After which you have opened it, deduct my reputation point and close it with status of not applicable. I think the mistake here was being closed as informative. It shouldn't have been closed as informative because it's out of scope. It's generally not applicable unless this XSS was allowing them to do, for example, course like cross origin resource sharing policy to be exploited. For example, if there was a course vulnerability and he could trick this from basically trigger that from the XSS here, because more, what if this subdomain actually was able to read everything from the main domain, since he can actually inject XSS here, then that would have been a problem. But I don't seem to find him actually telling that. And he just goes on a tangent. Of course, he doesn't swear anymore. But you know, and he just says, you deducted my five red points. I want them back. And obviously, the hacker one support joins in and says this abusive behavior is not tolerated in hacker one please review our disclosure guidelines in addition you are banned from the uber program please check your email for additional restrictions being whatever that word is on the platform he got banned from platform because of a report oh my god i i don't even actually have the urge to go continue but the second report is just gonna be like a nice one let's just say it. it's reflected xss bypass content type plain text plane whatever the hell that is and he found a vulnerable subdomain at here and after he tested this subdomain i found many payloads injected by me reflected but not executed and okay so that's not a problem so so that i taked taked a look at the response and i found content type okay so i searched about bypass and i found this book and tell me you can bypass it in ie browser before version 10. and then he basically installed an older version and then he was able to do it of course it's triggering you know and okay that's not a vulnerability because it, it, the person says here are you able to reproduce this issue on any modern web browsers like chrome firefox safari edge and 
hello and he basically can't reproduce this on any modern browsers and of course this was changed to not applicable and thank god he wasn't there to cuss and swear at the staff of the program like what was the first reports guy's problem there the second one is also a very silly one it's just basically cross-site scripting xss and it basically puts this here and then he you know explains what the xss is and and then you know he, he, he basically puts here like proof of concept of course you you know you steps you reproduce it just gives that okay and you know please provide a working proof of concept link or html file that when clicked and opened by a victim triggers an issue you reported against them and it needs to be logged in on site to execute ah but it's still vulnerable because the attacker can send it to administrator or someone logged in to steal cookies and lead to an account taker okay so all right cool and then again, please provide a proof of working proof of concept. And he says, I can't found. Sorry. Hello, I have a proof of concept. And <laughs> they close this and not applicable. <laughs> and his response is H. Ladies and gentlemen, H. Just H. <laughs> the fourth report is basically simple. It's silly. Like XSS, FO, this page, and forum type. That's the entire report. And, you know, the bot came here and says, thank you for your report. And and after the robot told him, hey, we're reviewing the issue. And then obviously the Garrity Pay staff came came and says, not applicable, man. And based on your this description, there does not to be any security implications. And then this person puts here a scan result. This is a number one rookie mistake in any hacking. Don't submit hack scanning results to programs for the love of God. And even he says, automated vulnerabilities can commonly use low priority issues or false positive. Before submitting the results of a scanner, please take a moment to confirm that reported issues are actually valid and exploitable, aka they're a valid vulnerability. And the last one, as promised, is going to be just outrageous, so let's get going. Hi, Quora security team. There's a self XSS vulnerability. Self XSS. Remember that. Self XSS. But I, I don't even know if, if, if that even qualifies for this. You just have to copy and paste the link in a Chrome browser. And you have to copy and paste this entire link right here and the XSS payload will trigger. Would you look at the JavaScript alert document? Oh, what is this for? Well, see this, that's a comment. And that means ignore everything after this. So basically, you don't even need anything after the comment. It's just unnecessary. And what this means is just basically it's executing once you open a new tab and this document.domain is just going to show and obviously behavior you described is a valid behavior for any browser where you can execute any arbitrary javascript for the current window and it's not an xss and he says exactly that's called self xss and self xss is in scope of this program and he says anyone there <laughs> and he says why there is no update and of course they have to tell him hey this is just a normal behavior so First report, I have to reflect back on this. I mean, this guy just got legit banned off of a platform, off of not just a program, off of platform, off of Hacker One platform for saying all of the stuff that you're seeing on the screen. Saying this, which I have to bleep out, I, I won't even say it actually, yet. but oh my God, like who on earth thinks that this is a good idea to do? <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.